What's up guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome to another episode of 4K Downtime, my name's Andy. Here to give you a review, something different to uh, what we've been doing so far, which is mostly gaming related. Today I want to do a toy review, or like a uh, statue review if you want to like, you know, call it that. Um, it's based on um, the show The Guyver, which I'm not sure um, how many people watching have actually heard about The Guyver, but it's based on a manga series that came out I believe 1985, uh, don't quote me on this just purely because I haven't actually um, done my research uh, on the year that it actually came out. But I never have actually read the manga before, I've just seen the, um, the OVAs and the anime, ser and, uh, the anime series, really liked it. So I, um, when I went to Hong Kong last year, I actually like, you know, I was going to go through a bunch of anime shops and like you know, actual video stores and whatnot. I saw it and then ultimately decided, uh, you know what, this actually looks pretty cool. So I decided to pick it up and uh, because I like the show enough here, so I kind of felt like the um, armor itself looks really cool. But um, one thing I've noticed is like, it wasn't your typical action figure where like, you know, it's usually those, um, you know, what action figure size is like. They're usually like proper, um, like modeled after like proper human size, those kind of um, figures. This one was, um, kind of basically a chibi kind of um, design but still really detailed and like you know uh, wait until once I open it when you have a look at it you'll be like wow you, um, you'd probably be pretty shocked with the amount of detailing that you actually see on it so anyway this is the packaging that came along with it I bought it for 298 uh, Hong Kong dollars so that would have been over here to the UK pounds is about about just about 20 25 quid but anyways so this is the packaging so it just kind of shows you uh, you can't move it actually so this is literally a statue it's not like an action figure where you can actually poses I know there is a figure uh, that is the same exact for Gaiba one as well but that one is actually fully uh, posable but this one sadly isn't this one is literally a statue it only has one move and there's no articulation or anything like that so here's the uh, box it came from a um, uh, maker called K-Souls which I've also never heard of so here just kind of give you a good look on what, the, what it actually comes with and just goes into a little bit of detail about what it does. Uh, one cool thing, if you might have noticed here, is that it can actually light up. So I'll definitely be showing you guys that once I've opened it. Of course, just another screen of him. And it's him actually like you know, using the Mega Smasher as well, which is, uh, if you've watched the series, it's basically its ultimate move. So yeah, so let's open them up. I've already taken the uh, sticker off and everything. So. so there you have it. And uh, it's so actually also pretty hefty as well. Like uh, the quality of the plastic, it's very very good as you may have to see the level of detailing on him is actually really really good um, I know on the camera he might seem like uh, he's like a very light blue I mean he is actual light blue but if you see in person yeah it has a bit of um it's kind of like a light bluish kind of green which is more um, like how he looked in the um, in the newest animated series I'm not sure if you've seen that one that one's in um, it was released I think back in 2006 I believe that one that one uh, the kind of blue that he has was somewhat quite uh, greenish it has a bit of green to it and one thing I really like is like the control metal on this part as well as like you know um, the, I guess his two extra eyes on top of here yeah like you know they're, they're actual uh, metal so they're not uh, plastic same thing with these part as well the head beam and everything over here and um, one thing that was really cool looking is that his eyes is actually uh, see-through, like translucent plastic. I know it, on the camera you might not be able to see it, but um, if you see in person, it's actually translucent. So here uh, as well, the Mega Smasher, like the two orbs here where basically where the uh, laser shoots out and everything. It's like, this is see-through plastic as well. So it's like, so this uh, inside is actually hollow. Now, 
course, I said uh, it does light up. So behind here, there's actually um, a button where you push it, it actually lights up. So let me just show you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it shines pretty bright. And once again, like, you know, I think on the camera, like, you probably can't, you just can't see the colors properly, but uh, his eyes is actually purple. But yeah, on the camera right now, it just seems like it's white for some reason. So once you've seen enough, just again, push the button and it just turns it off. And of course, inside the box, it just comes with um, its instructions that just kind of like tells you, I think, uh, where to. If, you, if the button ever runs out or anything like that, it's not the button, the battery. If the battery ever runs low, like you know, where to change everything. So it just kind of tells you that. It's very basic. And of course, it does come with its own stand as well. So you just put him, place him literally on here. Now, a complaint that I think I can, like, you know, I can give it, it's just purely that the deep here, there's no peg that actually plugs into this. So as you can see, there's a flat surface. So when you sit him on here and you lift him it literally just goes like that so it would have been nice at the very least if there was a peg there just to make sure it's proper secure but no i mean if you're leaving him on a <clears throat> excuse me if you leave him on a flat surface then technically it's fine like it doesn't really take away anything like that but it's just feels a bit awkward when you were just to lift him up in the side there's nothing holding it so yeah, just a little minor complaint down there, no big deal. But once you've sat him down and once again, it just, like there's nothing really at the bottom. Except uh, I haven't got any batteries uh, for this, but apparently what it is is like underneath here, if you put some batteries in here yeah, and there's a button beneath on here, if you push it, then like this base itself lights up, so it just makes it make him look a little bit more cooler like he's standing on kind of like a, a show floor or something like that but even just having him like this just turning like you know the lighting on still looks pretty cool and again let me just take this away you guys like just 360 view of him yeah. So I'll say like, you know, if you're a big fan of the guy or anything like that and um, you love collecting like you know, figures like this, hey, go ahead and like pick this up. Like I said, it wasn't that expensive when I uh, picked it up in Hong Kong. Like I said, uh, equivalent over here is only about 20, 25 quid. Um, I'm not sure obviously how expensive it is to import it. I imagine you probably have to pay an additional 20 on top or anything like that. But the figure itself is made of very good quality and um, it, there's nothing about this that feels flimsy. Like I said, the only uh, real complaint I do have is just that I wish there was a peg here, but it doesn't take away from the figure whatsoever. It's, it's amazing, it looks great. Level of detail is um, really cool. And uh, regarding I mean, the lighting and everything like that, that comes out, I assume that not that many people would literally leave it on, like, you know, for hours and hours. It's usually just there to, like, if you've got friends coming over just to show it off to them, but most of the time you would usually just kind of, like, leave it off. I have seen in Hong Kong that's, um, like, what they do is that, because obviously they have to keep it turned on for a very long period of time, they manage to, like, I think, um, hook it up, like, you know, um, they did some wiring like that like, onto his battery so like you know, it just keeps it going constantly so yeah um, you could do something like that if you do want to keep the lights turned on like you know literally forever and only like you know wanted to turn off every now and then you could do what they did it's like like i said they kind of like hooked up like you know a wire behind there when you um, take off this part so yeah if you, but that's only for anybody who wants to keep it on like literally forever but as it's like you know display by it is still looks awesome Again, I don't know why on my camera, like, you know, his um, color scheme looks a bit 
off. I mean, on the camera right now, he literally kind of like looks like uh, his actual color from the show, but uh, the actual figure itself, the blue is actually much lighter. It has like a um, green to it. It's kind of like a bluish kind of green. But yeah, that's uh, my view. Uh, <laughs> my view. My uh, Bio Booster Armor Guyver 1 review like uh, for the toy. If you do like it, again, you could easily try to find it on places like um, eBay. There will be people that are selling it or some other um, stores, that sh online store that sells anime stuff, which um, you could give Ninning Games uh, a go as well. I think Nin uh, Ninning Games also do uh, figures like these. Um, again, what price, the, their price may vary, just depends on like, you know, uh, where you go to try to find them, but it's a pretty cool um, collector's item. But anyway, that's it for today. So thank you for tuning in again. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. <clears throat> and if you like what you see here, please like, you know, uh, subscribe, comment and like the video. And let us know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff in the future. If you like seeing um, toy reviews like this, yeah, I'll be more than happy to do a few more of them. I actually have got this alongside um, with Guyver 3 as well, which I will also do. So that I'll probably upload it in the um, next two days when I get any free time. But yep, again, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Andy, 4K Downtime, signing off. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.